Hello. Just wanted to show a little um, bracelet, earring, and necklace set that I made using um, Swarovski crystals. This is um, a little cuff made with memory wire and um, instead of, I mean, I made small, very small loops and instead of just leaving them open, leaving the loops exposed, I covered them with three millimeter crimp covers so I get this little like ball end effect on the bracelet. Um, I can't remember the lady's name on YouTube, but um, she did a memory wire video where she showed how to, um, to use these um, memory wire end caps. I mean, um, to use, instead of using memory wire end caps, which you have to glue on, to use 3 millimeter sized um, crimp covers, and it's more economical. Um, this was the memory wire cuff I had mentioned in my, um, on my channel. Um, I also, and basically it's just crystals, and there's three sizes. The whole set was made with um, one package of three millimeter size, one package of four millimeter size, and one package of five millimeter size Swarovski crystals. I got them from Fusion Beads, and they were a mix. All these colors um, in, the, in all three sizes came mixed, and it's called Sporty. And they're really nice. It's um, it's fuchsia, fern green. Let's see. That's fuchsia, fern green, capri blue, and amethyst. And indicolite. No, I'm sorry, not indicolite. Blue zircon. Blue zircon, fuchsia, fern green, capri blue, and amethyst. And it's really nice. It was never colors I would have thought to put together. Um, this can be an economical beading project if you buy um, the crystals, the, the bags of um, each crystal comes like 50 pieces for like $4.99 on the Fusion Bead site. So, you know, it took me a couple of months to accumulate all three sizes. Um, and, they, and if you don't like this mix, they have lots of others. And they have them in the same size. If you find a mix in a 4mm, you can find the same color mix in a 3mm and a 5mm. Um, it's just the the memory wire, the crystals, the largest ones are the centerpiece, they're strung on eye pins. The smaller ones, these are the, the, the top right here is the three millimeter and the middle one, this middle line right here is the four millimeter. They're strung on eye pins and for spacers I used size 80 hex beads in a crystal AB Although the AB finish is wearing off, you can barely see it on the video. It's, it's a little more iridescent in person. And I use them as spacers here. And the important thing when making a cuff like this is even though the center crystals are 5mm and the outer ones, these are 4, everything has to be the same length. So when you make up your, all your eye pins, make sure that they're all the same length because while memory wire will stretch this way, it doesn't really want to stretch, um, I, I can't even say it and hold the camera, it doesn't want to stretch, um, it will stretch horizontally but it does not want to stretch vertically. It's not like some of those um, cuffs that you see that are wire wrapped, um, you know, where they, they bulge out in the center and they narrow, it, memory wire doesn't want to do that. So all your head pins, however you arrange your crystals, they all must be the same length, the same height. These ones with the four millimeters as a center bead, I just used um, the eight millimeter seed beads to fill it in, so that with two, I think it's it's two um, two um, eight mi ac two eight o that's what they're called, not eight millimeter. I'm sorry, two eight o seed beads hex cut. Um, hex cut is kind of squarish. A four millimeter and two eight o um, hex cut beads, all of these beads together on this eye pin equals the one, two, three, five millimeter crystals that are on this eye pin. So they're the same length. And that's basically how you create this. Um, it can be a little tricky. Um, you have to finish your, you know, you have to finish um, put your um, little um, crimp covers on both ends and string from the string from the other end 
you know, you have to, to put them here and here, and then like string from this end or vice versa, so that there's something there to hold one end of the bracelet. Um, the earrings I made using the same mix, and I graduated the size. The, the five millimeters are on the bottom, the four millimeters are in the middle, and the three millimeters on top, and they have little seed beads. These, this pattern, um, well, or the how to make this type of earring is at auntiesbeads.com. I think it's called, oh my god, I forget, but it's an actual video. It's a Carla Cam video. Um, something under dangle earrings or um, earrings um, we woven woven jewelry I think they, they they put their videos now in categories so if you look up like the woven jewelry you'll find it and it's, it's very easy to make their video also uses um, three different sizes of bicone crystals oh and all of these I meant to say all of these are bicones they're not rounds not Swarovski rounds, they're, they're bicones. The necklace, I used up, like I said, I had three packages. One of the three millimeter, one of the four, one of the five. So I used up the last of them making this. Um, and again, this is right angle weave. The, or the centerpiece right here is right angle weave. And it sort of makes a sort of arrow shape as you, as you weave it. So I, I sort of, you can't really tell on the, the camera, but I'm sort of getting an arrow type shape going down, which I like. But you know, if you know how to red angle weave, and there's a dozen, um, they call it cross weaving. Um, I think um, on YouTube, All Cool Crafts has a um, has several videos on how to make the different shapes out of the, the four millimeter crystals, where you're making, you're weaving four millimeter crystals into round perfectly round beads or, or oval beads or even square beads and then with the remaining crystals I just hooked them to um, I um, after I finished my central motif I made a um, I hooked a um, jump ring and then hooked eye pins with the remaining crystals and just attached it to chain a very simple necklace um, I could have put more stations had I had more crystals I could have put more stations of um, crystals up the chain, you know, broken up the chain that way, but I decided not to and I was tired too. <laughs> so, um, I'll probably be doing another one of them because um, Michaels has a lot of, for some reason, they're, they're getting in a lot of 4mm crystal mixes under the Jolie's Jewels brand. So I'll probably be making um, like another set like this but not graduated just all with the same size crystals um, and cashing in my Michaels coupons too um, also I have a brief rant I was searching the um, the YouTube for you know I periodically I just search for ideas and you know I, I search for beading videos what are people making or, or is anyone doing tutorials stuff like that and I want to say Two things. One, it's a bad, bad world out there. I had just watched um, a while ago that To Catch a Predator thing where they, you know, they trap the guys who are um, the pedophiles who are going online um, trying to hook up with what, who, what they think are 10, 11, and 12 year old girls. It's a bad world out there. Parents, it's not enough to say, okay, I know my kid has put a YouTube video on. Listen and look at what the kid is saying. Make sure your child isn't in inadvertently giving out information that you know um you know could could let someone pinpoint where that child is um i mean because what do you think these pedophiles are doing there may be all these sex offender registries and everything but you know they're watching youtube looking for little 10 year olds doing crafting videos and you know and, and watching that to catch predator thing really made me go ew so that's and and watch what your kids are wearing when they do a video um if your kid wants to sit on the bed in their pajamas and have the camera facing them, well, inadvertently they may be flashing somebody. Um, the second thing I want to say real quick is also watch the angle of your camera anyway. No, here's the word, no crafting videos without pants. You may get up at 3 o'clock in the morning and decide you want to do a video and you'll be in your pajamas or, or whatever it is you're sleeping in, but depending on the angle of your camera, even if you're just doing a you know, where you only see the hands, like the videos that I've done, you know, you're not showing your face or anything else, depending on where the camera is pointing, 
um, if it's pointing, like mine's is pointing toward it, but there's also um, the, the, the videos, um, like the webcams that, you know, you're facing the computer, so, um, and it's kind of angled down, so it's going to check, you know, it's going to show your lap and things. No crafting videos without pants. <laughs> no pants, no crafts. That's what I want to say. Thank you. Bye-bye.